we ask you to create a multi-panel layout. You have multiple maps in the layout, four to be exact. I'm just going to show you how to manipulate some of the parameters on two of the maps so you can get a uniform size or control how things appear. So here's the first map I've loaded to the layout. And if I want to work with this map, I can go ahead and select that individual map and then resize it so you've done this before. And you see it makes it small and skinny and you only see a part of it. I might want to see the whole map. So it's important that I go to the map frame and make sure that I have a zoom to the entire map. And then if I go back to the layout, I can right click on this layout and down in properties, I can set in this second icon here a scale. And if I use a larger scale, less of the map will show. And if I use a smaller scale, more of the map will show. And so I can trial and error to find a good scale that I want. Here I'm going to use 250,000. And I don't have to enter the comma. Hit return. And that's more or less the right size. Now again, if I expand this, you can see that it doesn't change the scale. It just changed the frame. I can also get rid of that frame if I want. That is the border around the frame. And it goes away when I don't select on it. So here I've set one of my maps, one of the panels here in my layout. Now I want to add the other one. So if I go to Catalog and draw my second map over, it's a different data layer, a different place. But again, I can pull it up about where I want it. I want to make sure that in that map, I've zoomed to the full extent so everything shows up. Go back to the layout, right click on it again and go to the properties. And then in that same property, again, I can get rid of that bounding rectangle. I can also then change its scale to 1 to 250,000. So it should have approximately the same size as the map that I'm showing to its right. Now another thing I can do is I can actually change the size of what I'm displaying. So I can make this, let's say, 3 inches by 3 inches if I want at that scale. Um, and if I hit return, then it gives me the map at that scale. The same thing for this one. I can make it 3 inches by 3 inches. So I can control then the location, size, and shapes of my maps this way and align them and get the maps then in the layout at the same scale if I wish and um, at the same size for the frame.